Okay, this thing isn't even done yet and I can already tell it's my best water feature project yet. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, let me catch you up real fast. So much like the square water fountain, I made these concrete molds myself and I poured the concrete the shape I wanted it. And then to get these standing upright, with the help of my dad, we welded some metal bases to the bottom of these so that they could stand on their own. At least so that I could lay them out the way I wanted them to and then concrete the base in. So I'm getting ready to break ground for that water feature over there. So I'm gonna dig a hole here, but before I do that, I wanna do some shaping of the ground here. There's some high spots I wanna get rid of and some low spots I wanna fill, so. Once again, I have to thank Aquascape for donating the supplies for this project. The pond liner and the pump and these aqua blocks were all donated by them. So go visit Aquascape's website or their YouTube channel and go check out the work they do. They make great products and I'm super excited to be able to use theirs today. My plan is to set each one of these on the metal here and balance them up and brace them all together, level, and then frame around them and concrete it all in together. All right, it's a new day with new challenges. We got those things set in place and I'm able to position them where I think I want them, but I'm working on getting them level and upright so that they don't look crooked after I concrete them in. So after some brainstorming, I went ahead and I put together these wooden frames that will go between them. And then I'm gonna ratchet strap them all together and these braces will hopefully hold them equal distance from each other. So there'll be one at the top and one at the bottom and these will sort of keep them in place, hopefully. concrete that base in. Well, I gotta let that concrete dry, which should be, I don't know, as long as I have patience for it. Uh, in the meantime, I gotta go get some rock from my parents' property and some river rock from the store, so.
just donated some plants. So thank you, Kathy. So the foam I used to direct all that water over the waterfall was not thorough enough. So I've decided it's worth it to pull some of that foam out, pull the cloth back, and I'm concreting that top dam better so that I get more water flow over the waterfall itself. I almost didn't show this on camera, but it's worth noting that these projects rarely go according to plan. There's almost always something that comes out of left field. Like it was just an oversight. Concrete would have been a better use for this and instead I've had to backtrack and redo some of it. So this project's gonna take a few extra days. I'm gonna have to let this concrete dry and then clean it up again. But when that is all said and done, here's the finished product. Okay, so that wraps up this project and this video. If you want to see this thing later in the year after all these plants have grown in, or if you want to see this with the solar lights shining on it at night, go follow me on Instagram. Links to the products and the websites and my Instagram and all that are in the description if you want to flip through and find stuff there. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.